Betty. Oh, Ron, you're being silly. What's there to be worried about here at the drive-in? Well, Betty, monsters for one. With all that's been happening around Central City, I don't like the idea of so many people gathering together here at the drive-in. You never know what might be lurking in the dark. Don't be ridiculous. There's nothing unusual, strange, or unwanted lurking. That's where you're wrong, Betty. Ron's right. I believe there could still be giant monsters on the loose. Monsters that could eat us all and destroy the entire city. <laughs> what did I tell you? All a modern audience needs is exposure to the classics and they eat them up. Yes, but they're laughing at them, Krieger. But that's cool, too. See, the true measure of great art is its adaptability, how it can continue to affect people through the ages, like Shakespeare, the Mona Lisa, or Menace of the Mantis. <gasps> it's a big bug with hairy legs! <laughs> and a laugh's as good as a scream in my book. This movie's hilarious. Hilarious, but also totally inaccurate. The only way to fight an army of giant mantids is to back them in a corner, then work them in a cannibalistic frenzy in which they disembowel each other. At least that's been my experience. You know, Ivanka, you're not like any other girl at school. Most boys are intimidated by me. Not this boy. I think it's great when both men and women are equally strong. Really? You know. Jock. When we first met in our ancient societies and tribal warfare class. Hey guys! Hey! Whoop! Sorry! Hey guys! He's gone! You guys having fun at the drive-in? What are you doing here? What do you mean? Just being a completely normal teenager, of course. Yep. A completely normal teenager. Alone at the drive-in on a Saturday night. Good flick. <laughs> hey. Hi. You guys, you guys come here often, or? <laughs> hey, Tabby, do you want to join us? And Agatha? There's something that we need to talk about. It's not just our disagreements about the clothes and the car. It's about having something in common. And I just don't think that even though two people are related, that they should live together if they have nothing in common. Nonsense. The whole point of family is to be trapped against your will with people with whom you share nothing in common. Builds character. So the people of Capital City are still all upset about the monsters of that old fool Von Steinhauer. Perhaps a new and improved Von Steinhauer beast will convince them of my genius. What the heck was that? Bonka, I... I think something's gonna... Explode or something. Take cover! Take cover? I'm the guy I'm supposed to protect you, remember? What? Take cover! It's the mantis! And it's back! For real. It's monster time.
Atlantis Gigantis Extremis, otherwise known as... One big mother of a praying mantis. Hey! Don't panic! Don't pet Do not panic! And whatever you do, do not rush the exit! I repeat, do not rush the exit! Guys, I... Why do people never listen to monster instructions? Luke! Girl, girl, it's, it, it's okay. Just be calm. The safest place is in the car. Just go back, take cover. Are you and, and sure? I'm positive everything will be okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. it's okay. I'll save you. Can you believe this? No. No warning. No missing security guards. No crooks caught in the act. No kids at the beach. Nothing. This monster just appeared from right off the screen. Where's that guy? I don't know. I saw around here with some guy. Some guy? You lunatic! Stand back, Vonka. This one's mine. Jock, I'm the monster warrior, and you're the college pro lawn care specialist. Now give me that thing. Huh. A woman protecting a man? What is this, the Twilight Zone? What happened to men and women being equal? Yo, Mantis. I may specialize in lawn care, but I also do exterminations. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Don't eat me! <laughs> Somebody help me! Nothing much. Just watching my love life blubber away in the help breeze me, up there. Help me, help me, please. All I'm looking for is someone who can handle a brilliant and beautiful girl with strength, cunning, and the ability to dismember creatures at 20 yards. Is that so much to ask? No, but they're all the same, Vanka. They just don't know it. Yeah, I'm still here. Car! Oh, this really is intolerable. What are you looking for? Aristotle's logic. For the answer to the most difficult questions, always take the simplest instruments at hand. Unfortunately, I'm also going to have to find someone who can help me unravel the basic scientific principles of insect anatomy. <clears throat> Eustace. Hi, Antonio. Uh, looks like we got a bit of a problem here. That we do. I think I may be of some assistance. Based off of your zoological problems we encountered last year, I created this database of over 6,432 species of wildlife. Now, using this database, you can plug in something like giant praying mantis, and you can get its habitats, diets, uh, and means of procreation. I also programmed in subcategories so you could find ways to immobilize it. Immobilize it? I'll be right back. Okay. Hey! We need the hose. We were thinking axes. Uh, it's locked. OK, we need to find someone at the fire department who will come down with the key, at which point, Tabby, you can... Take your weapons, and let's go. Let's go. I'll be right behind you. All right, gang. Let's show this mantis we mean business. Tabitha! Don't you think a simple letter to the management would be a more moderate first step? N.A. I love her, but she really cramps my style sometimes, you know? And she tries to control my entire private life, too. Not to mention, we have absolutely nothing in common. At least you have a private life to cramp. Seen my night lately? He's one at the top of the flagpole screaming like a four-year-old girl. <laughs> no, those all sound like normal teenage problems to me. I'm not even a normal teenager. Uh, Luke, is there something you want to tell us? I can't get away from being Luke the Monster Warrior, savior of Capital City, which is nice, but the novelty wears off. Well, it looks like we're all frustrated by one thing or another. Well, I say we take it out on our friend here. Whoa, wait, guys. What do you mean, boy? Wrong maneuver. <laughs>
Ancient Tibetan warrior rule. Take down your opponent with a sudden disarming move. What are you gonna do, flip them? Don't think I can? Look, it's a giant mantis! Watch this. Mantis antenna. Best not to look. Get ready to fire. Antonio, I gotta do it now. Hold on. Antonio, I gotta do it now. No, wait. Antonio, it's too close. Not yet. Antonio! Fire! Ah! Dude, what are you... <laughs> Diet Cola. Have you ever read the label on a can of Diet Cola? Well, all the chemical compounds in it create sufficient toxins capable of devouring any non-human creature. All the artificial sweeteners should really make them stick in place. Fingers crossed. Holy cow, it's working. He can't handle the toxins. Soon he'll be weak enough we can get in there with the axes and... Dada, there you are. I thought we'd agreed we would... We have to go after her. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go get the monster car. Vonkish, listen. But the giant mantis has already left. What's there to shout about? <laughs> Look, what do you think we should do? We go save the drive-in. Tabby, you, I need- I have to go save my Nagatha. Then I guess I'll need the keys. Well, I guess the only question is, what's going on around? <laughs> is popping out more mantises because of that antenna? Actually, girls, they're not spiders. Technically, mantids are insects of the order mantidia, which means... <laughs> Quite a way you have with the women. We all work with what we got. Um, guys? Careful, Bunka. Despite their smaller size, clearly they're the same as the larger mantids we met before, aggressive and voracious. We have to be careful. Are you okay? Oh, Bunka. Give me a break. Get away from me! Get away from me, Bunker, please help me! Who is that guy? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Your boyfriend? It's a long story. <laughs> please, help me! Well, Antonio, any ideas on how to save him? I think he might be doomed. Bunker, help me, help me, yeah. help me, please! Do you want to at least try? Or... Well, the... Simplest method, I suppose, would be to. <laughs> wasn't that good a shot? No, it wasn't, but it was as if something blinded me. What's going on? I can't say for sure. The mantids are acting pretty funny, though. Take a look. The answer is actually quite elementary. Mantids are nocturnal feeders. There's no way they can stand the preponderance of focused illumination here at the drive-in. 
Oh, they hate light. Okay, okay, we're onto something here. Now let's see if we can take it a step further. You guys see if you can find a couple flashlights from the snack bar, somebody's car, doesn't matter where, just make sure they're big. Start using them to corral those matches towards the screen. Oh, well, what about you? Projection booth. We're gonna make these things regret they ever preempted this flick. Come on, let's go. It's working, but we're gonna need more light if we're gonna corral all of them. More light, okay, more light, more light. I got an idea, everybody, listen up. Turn on your headlights. I need everybody to turn on their headlights. Hey you, please, if you could, turn on your headlights. I need everybody to turn your headlights on now. You, sir, please, turn on your headlights. It's working. The man kids are backing off. All we need is Luke and his secret weapon. and Antonio could use some help boxing those things in. Right. Let's just hope Tabby's having the same luck rescuing Aunt Agatha. She must be terrified. Step on it, girl! Pedal to metal! I'm doing the best I can! Step on it! I am! One more burden! You're toast, Archie! Reeks, I'm gonna pass out. Hang on, okay? I can't <laughs> let one of these things get away. I prefer the term cavalry. Is that it? Did we get all of them? I think so. You did it. You really did it. And with knitting needles and some sewing elastic? But where did you get the idea to... I just know how to build things. I always have. I don't know why. Oh, man. You what? gotta be kidding me. You did it, Luke! <gasps> you are the hero of Capital City. Well, it, it wasn't all me, though. Oh, I... There's nobody else like you. But honestly, Vanka and Antonio and Krieger helped, too. I don't think he has a choice. Luke will just always be one of those people that's seen as special. Well, speaking of special, I gotta say that what you did back there was extraordinarily oh, bright. Help, 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 help. There's something back there. It's got, 
He's got these red eyes and, and this bushy tail and these long black legs and these teeth. <laughs> a squirrel. My boyfriend ran screaming from a squirrel. Gotta dump him. Immediately. Hey, I really appreciate everyone's help in cleaning up. Hey, no problem. This is really nothing like cleaning up severed monster parts to make you forget about your own problems. Only really put things into perspective. At this rate, we'll be ready in time to open for tomorrow's feature. Uh, tomorrow's feature? Please tell me it's a cartoon, Krieger. With a fluffy bunny and his adventures with his woodland friends. Try Klaus von Steinhauer's Conquest of the Savage Blood Beast. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say something like that. So, do we break out the heavy artillery and come back tomorrow just in case? Well, we'll stake it out to be on the safe side. Something tells me this mystery monster maker isn't about to strike in the same place twice. Well, whoever he does strike, we'll be ready. Of course. Monster warriors are always ready. These foolish monster warriors will soon figure out that the mystery monster maker has tons of imagination when it comes to the destruction of Capital City. <laughs>